we're like every other family, really. We get by. I mean, you know, things aren't easy. Like everybody else, we, we have our ups and our downs, and sometimes difficulty making ends meet. But that's the way it is. <laughs> what about all your essentials? I don't know how we're going to cope. You see, it seems to me that there's a general malaise affecting the whole setup here. And what we've got to do is tackle the problem at its roots. <laughs> Nice little place, isn't it? Uh, quite compact, I think. Yes, yeah. it is. Well, it's, oh, I see. it's my first full day at the Watsons, and it hasn't taken me long to work out what might be the cause of all their problems. They're ludicrously overmanned. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, Sir John, Sir Harvey, he has got to say for himself. Sir John. Sir John, sorry. Yeah. Now, the problem, as I see it, is one of too many overheads and not enough revenue. Tilly, uh, when will you leave school? When am I doing? Mm -hmm. And after that? I'm going to go to college like Karen. Right, so you won't actually be earning any money for another, what, ten years. Now, I haven't done my sums on this, obviously, George, but I think it's worth <laughs> considering getting rid of Timmy. <laughs> no, he, no he, uh, it wouldn't be a popular decision, but he is, in fact, surplus to requirements, George. As far as you're concerned, young lady, I'm going to be blunt. The picnic is over. Uh, endless lollies and trips to the zoo. She's screwing you, George and Wendy, and you're letting her get away with it. <laughs> now, Karen, I think, is worth holding on to. Oh, that's good. Um, as long as she <clears throat> chucks in the college course and takes that job at the Texaco garage. <laughs> now, now, Karen, let's just listen to what Sir John has to say. Um, and come a long way. George's oh, yeah. mother, I think, <laughs> I think we're all agreed in hindsight that it was a crass decision to let a sick old woman come into your home and scrounge off you indefinitely. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's very so true. I think medical yeah. research is yeah. probably the best bet there. Well, I do mean, uh, Two months later, not only has George disposed of his mother and Timmy, he's also put Karen on the game and leased the cat. They're tighter, leaner, fitter. Will this have made the crucial difference? Uh, George, you see, it all boils down to one thing, and that is your failure to penetrate one key area. Now, I'm going to be blunt, George. I don't think you've got what it takes. But what I'm going to suggest, and... You're not going to like this. Right. Is, is that you hand over that whole side of your operation to somebody else. Right. Subcontract to a third party, leaving yourself free to do the things you're really suited for. Oh. <laughs> ah, nice runny yolks, George. Yeah, I'm, I'm, st I'm, st I'm still not entirely sure about this. Sir George, George, relax. Everything's going to be fine. You're sure about this? Absolutely positive. Right. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that George has made the right decision. <laughs>